Hello everybody, this is Laura Bickman, and we're going to demonstrate with my son Ty, he's 20 years old. <laughs> he's actually been in Christmas Carol at Hale Center Theater Orem, I think it was twice? Twice. He's, he's played um, Mr. Fezziwig and Christmas Present and Ghost of Jacob Marley and Turkey Man. I think that was everything. Yeah. And so we're, what we're going to demonstrate today is we're going to talk a little bit about hair and makeup for boys. Really simple. Look over here at our supplies. Oh, and let me grab a comb just so we're thinking about combs too in case we have to comb our hair. So I've got a couple of brushes. One is for some face powder and the other one is for some blush. We can also call it bronzer in man speak. And I've got my comb and I've got some styling pomade to help with flyaway hair. And if I need to, I've got some hairspray. And my favorite one for theater is the Aerogel. And you can get that at TaylorMade Beauty Supply. All right. Oh, and also we've got the Lip Balm. I love this brand, the Lip Rescue. I get it at Good Earth and Whole Foods. It's, it's really great. All right, we're going to start with makeup for Ty. With, on our stage, we don't have to do a lot to faces because people are so close. Um, come on back over here, Matea. And look here. I'm just going to take a little bit of powder out of here, and I don't need much. That's even too much. Now, if I want to load my brush up, I've got a bunch on here. I can hold it up like this and tap it, and it'll bring some of the powder down the bristles so that it's not super concentrated on top and then I won't get it dumped all into one part of the face. I'm gonna load a little more. Just like that, it's fun to see it go down the bristles. All right, and over here, you just need to use your normal face. You don't need to do anything. I'm gonna come across here, and even especially with bangs, we tend to hold moisture here. I could even take a Kleenex if there was a lot of sweat and press instead of rubbing because that'll leave debris and spread the sweat or the moisture instead of soaking it up. So I could press with a Kleenex, because between shows you're gonna be hot when you're done a show. And I'm going to put some powder right here above his eyebrows, just to catch some of the moisture that might fall down under his bangs. And I'm gonna come down his nose, across the sides of his nose, and then I'm going to come under his nose just a little bit, and I would press with a Kleenex here too. And I know it tickles. And then down under his chin here, under our lip here is where we tend to get sweaty too. And that's about all that I would need to do when it comes to powder. And then he would put on his lip balm. We're going to talk about blush. This brush is pretty small. This one is pretty big. For boys' blush, Something this size or a little bit bigger is fine. This size is a little bit big. We'd cover too much area with a brush this size. Our goal here for the youth production of Christmas Carol for boys and makeup, go ahead and look straight at the mirror for me, Ty. Thank you. Is just to give them a little bit of color on their cheeks because once the lights hit their face, it creates a two-dimensional look. They look flat. And we want to create some warmth and defin definition. And that's kind of like the opposite when I say warmth. We actually want them to look a little bit cold. <laughs> so I'm using almost like a raspberry color here. And if you look carefully at this one, this one, this is a MAC brand. You don't have to use MAC. You can use another brand. This color is Mocha. I grabbed this one because it's not a bright pink. It's got a little bit of a brown undertone to it. And what I'm gonna do is I could just swoop like this, but I'm actually gonna paint back and forth like that. And I'm gonna come back over my Kleenex. And you know how with our powder brush, I held it up like this, I'm gonna do the opposite. And I'm gonna tap it off just a little bit. It's gonna take off a little bit of the extra. And I'm gonna come back over to Ty's cheek here. And we see here, if I feel his bone structure here, I can feel his cheekbone up here, and this is the top of his cheekbone that leads to 
the bone under his eye and it comes all the way down here and then kind of swoops down. I can feel his upper jaw under here and there's a hollow right here and then it comes out again and this would be his jaw bone. So there's three sections. There's the cheekbone, the hollow of his cheek, and his jaw bone. I am aiming for the area in between the cheekbone and the hollow of his cheek. If I bring it too far down into the hollow of his cheek, it's gonna drag his cheek down and make his face look really long. If I put it up too high, it's gonna be a little bit too feminine. So we're gonna avoid that by making sure that we're in between the hollow of the cheek and the cheekbone. We also want to avoid going straight across in any direction. We almost want to start right here at the middle of the ear and swoop a little bit towards the area between his nose and where his mouth starts over here. Almost like a little bit of a U. And the, I want to focus most of the color towards the back and bring it forward so it fades just a little bit. So you can see that I'm doing little brush strokes. And I start from the back and work forward. Start from the back and work forward. Now, you heard me say that I focused most of the color towards the back. Normally, we would stop right there. We can see just a little bit of color, almost like he's got a little bit more of definition here in the hollow of his cheek without it being too low and dragging his jaw down. Because we're in Christmas Carol, we're gonna add a little more. I'm gonna tap it off over my Kleenex. And where I said we fade it, where it's darker back here and it comes faded towards the front, we're actually now gonna add a little more right here and bring it up towards the nose where I said we, first we started here and came in between the nose and the mouth. Now we're gonna bring it up a little bit towards the nose concentrated from the center towards the front. And what that's going to do is create, do you see how now he looks like his cheeks are a little bit rosy, like he's been out in the cold. So we've layered from going from back to the front between his mouth and his nose, where it's darker back here and lighter towards the front. And we stop right here about his eye. Then we loaded the brush again and tapped it off. And we started about halfway here and brought it up towards his nose like that, and you can see me brushing up like that to add a little more color to the front so that we get a little bit of a look of him being cold. So if we look straight on, look straight ahead, Ty, we can see this side has our Youth Production Christmas Carol blush for boys, and this side has nothing. So you see a little bit of a difference there. That's what we're looking for. Not too rosy, we've blended that in back there, and we've got a little bit of definition. All right, let's talk about hair really quick. Ty's hair is great because he needs a haircut. <laughs> and I'm really glad because I wanted you to see how it's a little bit shaggy in that it looks like he needs a haircut and it's growing over his ears a little bit. He's got a little bit of a sideburn going on here. This is what we're hoping for. And if I could even get another quarter of an inch on him, just like this much more between my fingernails there, that would be so perfect. Back here, towards the back of his neck, this isn't too bad. If it was show day, like if we were starting the show, I'd say, yeah, you're okay, that's fine. If this grows much more right down here, then I would suggest just trimming the length off just a little bit here, but not blending it up into the hair style. We want to keep this length in here. This is fantastic. We just wanna clean up along the edge here a little bit. All right, his bangs, if we look here, I love how it's just like a natural swoop. It's not quite, I don't know, does anyone even call it Justin Bieber hair anymore? That's so three years ago. Okay, so he doesn't have all his hair swooped over to one side. He doesn't have a part down the middle. He could do a severe part right here if he was playing a character that had um, an apprenticeship or a job of some kind or if they were at an event something important like work or a party, he could part it to the side here and kind of guide his bangs over across like this. He's got a cowlick here, so we'd have to use a blow dryer to get those to stay there. 
but also just a little bit loose like that is totally appropriate just like that what I would invite him to do if it was show day if it was the first day of our show if I bring his bangs down like this and if they fall in front of his face we can see that they would interfere with his eyes and he would want to bring his hand up and move his hair like that no 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 <laughs> we never touch our hair on stage unless it's part of our blocking so what I'd want him to do is go and get his bangs trimmed just a little bit I wouldn't want them to take it up into here no 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 we want the shag here <laughs> So we would just want to trim the length of his bangs a little bit. So at Sally Beauty Supply, we've got several options for styling pomade. This one is um, a really low hold. There's another one in another container. I think it's a white and pink container that's just a little bit stronger hold. This is just the one I had here at home. But if I open it up and take a little bit like this, I don't want to take too much or it starts to, will start to look greasy. And what I'm gonna do is pat it across my fingers like this so that it's spread out evenly across my fingertips, about halfway down my fingers and thumbs. And then I'm gonna come over to Ty's hair and I'm gonna start back here and I'm not gonna lay my fingers flat on or I'm gonna deposit all my product at once and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna start by just combing through his hair here where I know that there are going to be some flyaways as he moves around on stage. And I'm going to comb my fingers through them, through his hair. We also want to use the pomade to create a little bit almost of a dirty look in the hair. We don't want it to look freshly washed. They had limited access to bathing equipment and water. <laughs> so we want to create a look that says, I haven't washed my hair for two days, but secretly you have. When you're in a show, you want to wash and bathe every single day so that your costume stays smelling nice, you stay smelling nice, and you're nice and clean. So <clears throat> I've run that through his hair, and then I'm bringing what's left all the way back here, and then fingering it into place. And then just because I know Ty has cowlicks right on the top of his head, I'm going to take some of my Stronghold hairspray and I'm going to hold it well back. I'm going to do a little spritz like that and I'm just going to cut my hand like this and just make sure that that's pressed into place just like that without sm smashing it down. I just want to press it gently into place. And that's how we would do his hair for Christmas Carol. All right, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me. Thanks everybody.